Hey everyone, I'm at Woodmill Winery. It is basically five minutes away from my house at the moment and I've decided to celebrate my 30th birthday over here by going for their Valentine's Day chocolate and wine tasting. I'm super excited to see how this is going to be. So let's go in and let's try the wine. The first thing that they give to you is this wine and chocolate tasting list where they tell you which wines pair with which chocolate. They also give you a list of the wines that you will taste along with the chocolates, some palate cleansers, and then you also get these, you know, six different wines in a tree when you order this. We ordered two, so we got two sets. And then this is the brochure. The brochure gives you a list of all the wines that they have in case you want more information. And over here, we got the description of all six wines that we were going to be tasting. They also give you information on the muscadines, which are the type of grape they use to make their wine. And it does have a lot of health benefits, which is really awesome. <laughs> They've given us these things to cleanse our palate, so we're going to go into the second wine tasting. Um, they've given us that, you know, list so we know which chocolate each wine pairs with. And um, this is the next one. It is the milk truffle filling. And we're going to be having it with the red muscadine, and we've chosen the sweet version. All right, so I'm going to stop taking chocolate. He's going to continue with it, but I am going to continue with the wine. I'm just not in the mood today for like very sweet stuff. Mon Amour Sweet, that is the third one. It's quite nice. How is yours? You gotta try it with the chocolate. Okay, give me a bite. My wine. Nice. Good. Okay, next we're going to move on to the American Jubilee, also sweet, and it's going to be paired with uh, milk, milk shell white truffle filling. Yeah, milk and white chocolate truffle. Yep. Ooh, it's falling apart. And look, it has a snowman on the on the thing, so that you know which one. You know to pair it with. Oh yum, this is really good. Next we're doing Rosie Twilight, also sweet, and it pairs with the dark chocolate truffle. That's this one over here. Alright, so we're gonna pair these. Well he's gonna try it. I'm just having my wine and I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> This is lovely. This is so yummy. I have to say that my favorite so far has been the Golden Stefano. Um, I just prefer white wines, I always have. So this is a blend of Scapanons, blueberries and strawberries. Oh, okay, well that sounds really good and it, it tastes really delicious too. I like this. It, it kind of reminds me of that um, wine I bought for her back, it was called Apotheca. It was Apotheca Dark. I don't remember at all. It had a bit of mix of dark chocolate into it as well, but it wasn't sweet, so because it wasn't sweet, I had to get rid of it. Just none of us wanted to drink it. Yeah. All right, so we're at the sixth one, which is blackberry sweet, and that one pairs with the very last chocolate, which is the blue one. It's a white with chocolate. What? White with purple pieces shell, so white chocolate white truffle filling. I can't speak normally today, sorry. Yeah. That's this wine over here, and you can show them the chocolate. That's that wine over there. I'm sure it'll be delicious everything with white chocolate is. Alright. Very well. Yeah. Alright, cheers. Nice. Very nice. Mm. Alright, so we finished all six wines. Um, I basically like the first one the most because I'm a white wine lover and I just like that combination. He tried all the chocolate, so he's going to give you like his review on like this list. 
Alrighty, so my favorite was number six, which was the blackberry sweet wine. And it paired with, it was a white truffle filling. Yeah, a white truffle filling. I thought that was excellent. Probably my second most favorite was Mon Amour with the uh, strawberry cream mm -hmm. chocolate. That was excellent as well. Outside of that, uh, everything kind of just fell below. They were still good. They're just not what was kind of my favorite with my palate. Okay. Well, mine was still Golden Scuppernong. Absolutely loved that one. And I did like the pairing of the chocolate as well. But I'm just not in the mood today to, I think, eat as much chocolate. So that's why I decided I'm just going to do the wine. But their wines are amazing. Whitlow has amazing wines. In fact, one of their one of my favorite wines is their Apple Spice wine. We bought a bottle. We took it to Florida and we finished it. It was just, it was fantastic. And I always go for the sweet wines because, you know, that's something that I just, I just love. We moved on to the half a glass of wine and um, basically you're allowed to have any wine that's available in the winery which is pretty awesome because I was thinking that they may have limited the choices but that's not the case at all. I've picked my favorite wine which is the apple spiced wine. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. And these are the gorgeous wine glasses that you actually get for free and you get to take them home. So I'm actually really, really loving my Valentine's Day experience with Woodmill Winery. I think that this was a really, really great day. Um, and I'm so happy that I got to celebrate my birthday with you guys. And I might have a little bit of a different kind of opinion on the wine compared to others, but I prefer smooth wine. I don't really care for things that have like a, I guess you say a bite to it. But this goes down real easy, real smooth. It's not like, it's not quite like juice, not quite like cider. It's perfect. Thank you for joining me for this experience and I will see you soon for another video. Cheers.